Hey folks, it's Snake Tracks, Zoe's Tracks, day two. And I'm heading out into the woods to look for her. And uh, the crazy thing is that she has moved a very long way from just from the day before yesterday when I released her. And uh, this is some incredible moving. And it looks like she's actually heading towards the general area where Utsunati is. So again, that's also very interesting. Maybe the big rock is a hibernaculum. Well, I'm going to head down into this thick forest and try to find that snake. Let's do it. Seems like she's in the direction this old tree has fallen, so I'm just going to use the tree as a way to get through the forest. It's very thick here. Ah. leading me through this beautiful little grove of blueberries that are changing. Some people might call them huckleberries, blueberries. They're all related. Look how beautiful these leaves are. I'm getting close. A lot of sun hitting the forest floor here. That way, down into the laurels. Here we go. All right, this is just deja vu. I passed this same point tracking Utsunati on day 10. I just remember the bark at the base of this tree. He's that way. My question is, is she going to rattle? And she seems to rattle at the drop of a hat, but will she rattle upon my approach now that she feels hidden because she's ran so far in the last couple of days? But will she rattle? I don't know. I know she knows I'm here. She's bound to be able to feel my vibrations as I walk. Getting very close now. Very close. Where are you, Zoe? Will you rattle? Straight ahead, I think. She's in this. Oh, there she is. That explains why I kept getting such a weird signal. She's moving. Look. I'm going to sit down. Well, she might crawl off. See her there? There's her head. Hard to focus on her, but with all the vegetation, but there she is. And she did not rattle. I'm gonna sit down and get some data, pictures, and get out of here. Leave her alone. Okay, now she's getting a little defensive. Look at this. Coiling up.
I kind of figured that she would be the one to uh, be defensive <laughs> the way she's been acting. And that's the sound. If you hear that when walking in the woods, stop. Look around. And uh, you may have to uh, be very careful and walk back the way you came. Boy, she's really, really a, a, a jumpy snake. Look at that rattle go. And I'm about 15 feet away. All right, let me get my uh, dad and get out of here. She has not stopped rattling the entire time I've been here. I've been here about 10 minutes, 15 to 20 feet away recording the data. This is a really jumpy snake, and actually I should say she's really afraid because she's terrified that I'm going to hurt her. I would never do such a thing. Well, Zoe's moved around a quarter of a mile in less than two days. I think that's some incredible moving for a snake that had surgery about a week and a half ago. Um, she's definitely heading somewhere. She's got an agenda. Maybe it's uh, to get to her hibernation spot before it starts getting too cool. Whatever it is, we will follow her and we will find out. She has not stopped rattling in 10 minutes. I've been here about 10 minutes recording the data and it's just a non-stop. So we're going to leave her alone, head up this mountain, and uh, we'll see you next time. Showing there ain't no way in knowing if my baby's gonna come back home. If my baby's gonna come back home.